Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. We're going to start a, uh, I'm starting a series of articles and videos covering a lot of the TCP tips and tricks that I give out during my presentations and classes. Hopefully it'll help you out and I'll jump right into it. So here's a trace, a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to concentrate on the TCP SYN packet first. So if you read the article, um, you'll see that the, what the SYN packet does, it's part of a three-way handshake, but we want to find one, all right? That's the point. So you, you could just literally start paging around and looking for an SYN packet, but that's a whole lot of work. The easiest way to find one literally is uh, edit find or control F, and you see the little bar pops up and you type SYN. You want a string and you want to search in the packet list. That's this top pane, right? This is the list. These are the details. And then there's one all the way at the bottom called the bytes. All right. So we're searching this guy. Find. Boom. There it is. So now we found our first SYN packet. Now, why am I doing this? I'm going to get to that in a second. And I want to filter out uh, just the SYN packets and their corresponding SYN acts. Right. Now, I want to show you what not to do as well as what to do. If I come down here to this TCP header and I open it up, and I'm just going to push this thing all the way down. We don't need this anymore. And you see there's flag SYN. So most people will right click apply that as a filter and select it. Now, this is not correct. This is literally just the SYN packets. That, that's exactly what you asked for, this pattern, right? This pattern, which is a SYN. I want the SYN and the SYNAC, right? This is where some, some people say to me, well, then fine, we'll just get rid of the filter, we'll build this one, and we'll add to it. But there's a much easier way to go about it. I'm going to just open up this flag. And if I move down here, I'll see this one little bit position, this one right here. Now, I want you to right click on this one instead. Apply that as a filter and select it. So now this literally will be, as long as there's a sin, this little, this little bit is set, then I'll be in good shape. And now if you take a look, you'll see the sin and the synax, and the sin and the synax, right? So this, now I've got the sin, which is my request to open a connection, right? Synchronization. And then I'll see the corresponding synac come back. So I'm going to just take a moment here. I just want to talk about this in a little bit more detail. So here's my first packet that goes out to the server Mickey. And now it's on port 23, which is Telnet. And that's a SYN packet. So I want to find the SYNAC. Well, it, there's one right beneath it, but you're never quite sure if that's exactly it, right? Because this, this could be a web page with hundreds of connections or port numbers or multiple things going on. So just please validate your port numbers. These should match up. So 2323 and then 49538, 49538. There you go. Now you know you're in business. Uh, in some cases, we might actually have to build a filter for that specific connection, right? Or something called a stream filter. But in any event, right now I'm in good shape. I have my SYN and my SYNAC. So what do I do? Well, because my time display format, again, I'm going to assume that I'm not going to take anything for granted. Under time display format, I have seconds since previously displayed packet. And that's really critical. You have displayed, not captured, displayed packet and I've got milliseconds on. So what is this telling me? Well, it's telling me it took 34 milliseconds for that to come back. So that's kind of a round trip time. This goes out, packet one, two, three, all the way to Mickey. Mickey, gomp, 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 sends back a synac, comes back, packet one, two, four, and it's 34 milliseconds. So we're able to measure true round trip time without trying a ping, because some places don't even let you ping and some places will reroute it and some places will will spoof it and there's all sorts of crazy stuff that can go on with ping and ping is not TCP that's kinda of the punchline right so I'm using the TCP packet a real packet on a real port to the real server on a real network so on and so on and so on to get a real number alright so now now what do we have well we have a sin going out to mini and we see a synac coming back from mini and this time it's 41 milliseconds right they're two totally different sites well there you go so I, just as a, a primer to the TCP SYN process, I'm trying to show you that the SYN SYN ACK is quite helpful in measuring true response time. That's all. And then we'll look at one last one down here. This one is only 13 milliseconds and it's a, oh look, it looks fairly local. Well, that's good to know. And so on and so on and so on. So. Hopefully that helps. In the next few articles, I'm actually going to go through the SYN packet and I'm going to cover some of these other 
values that you see in this line. We've got the sequence, we've got the window size, the length, maximum segment size, so on and so on. So I will be going into more detail as we go through this. And just on a one last note, not that I'm trying to sell anything, but there are a lot of products out there like application performance monitors that will actually take the SIN packet and the SYNAC and then graph this number for you. And they typically will call that a TCP connect time. That tends to be the de facto term right now. All right. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.